JJ all the way. You know how before a championship match or race or game is even won, the local paper will have already printed up copies of the alleged winner? Well, in the world of NASCAR, that's basically what's happening with Jimmy Johnson. Hi, guys. Lauren Shahadi here with your NASCAR report at the very same track where he started his incredible run to the title last year. Johnson pulled a little further away from the bunch on Sunday in Martinsville, winning the Tums Quick Pack 500 and stretching his points lead to 149 in the process. It was a race that wasn't, it wasn't even close. Johnson led 339 of 504 laps. His number 48 Chevrolet was spot on on the corners that runner-up Dale Earnhardt Jr. couldn't mount a charge during the green-white checkered flag finish that took the race four laps past its scheduled length. While the Hendrick veteran took one step closer to another title, the rest of the field didn't move too much, except for Kyle Busch, of course. He continues to tank his 29th place result, puts him back in dead last, only adding more disappointment after such a dominating run prior to chase time. Well, it is time now to turn it over to the expert, of course, who is everything but disappointing. That's Pete Pistoni. Pete, he joins me now. Pete, how's that for an intro? That's very good. Uh, I appreciate that, Lauren. Thank no you. No problem. Hendrick, cleaning up, Pete. Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon have now won eight of the last 12 races at Martinsville, and Johnson four of the last five. This is domination. Well, you know, we asked Jimmy, and we asked Rick Hendrick, and we asked Jeff Gordon why they're so good there, and even they don't know. But, you know, you look at the drivers, the lineup, those guys went to work. They figured out that racetrack. Rick Hendrick, as we all know, a seven-time Spring Cup Series championship owner, great equipment, and you just add that all up, Warren, and put Jimmy Johnson at the top of his game like he is right now, and it's going to lead to a dominating day like we saw on Sunday. Definitely will. Consider this, not you, Pete, because I know you already know this, but for our viewers, Johnson now has the biggest lead in the history of the chase after just six races. Pete, does he have a third straight title locked up? Well, you know, I, I don't want to say this, but I've got a trunk full of Jimmy Johnson 2008 champion t-shirts <laughs> in my car. Uh, it's out. It, it's pretty close. You know, he, as you said, no one has had a lead like this, and, you know, he is just going to have to fall apart. You know, Greg Biffle and Jeff Burton and, and Kyle Edwards said after the race on Sunday, they don't think it's over yet. I mean, what are they going to say? He's just going to have to have a total, complete failure here for the next four races, which, as you know, we don't think is going to happen. And I think he's pretty much on cruise control to join Cale Yarbrough as a, as a three-time, three-in-a-row champion. But, Pete, that's what his competitors have to say. They have to keep the hope alive, right? That's exactly right. I mean, you can't give up, and you got to keep going to the last lap at Homestead. Sure. Well, Atlanta Motor Speedway is next. This Sunday, where Johnson won last fall, Kyle Busch was victorious back in March, but that spring race was marred by tire problems. Will we see a repeat this week, Pete? No, thankfully I don't think so. Uh, as a matter of fact, we had a little time to spend with Greg Biffle last weekend, and he did some tire testing for Goodyear. Uh, they think they've got that straightened out because you're right, that race in the spring was a travesty. It was almost kind of a prelude to what we saw at the Brickyard where 15 or 20 laps into a run, we saw guys with blown tires, and Kyle Busch, as you said, won that race. It was kind of a survival of the fittest, and Kyle was able to do that, but I don't think we'll have a repeat of any of those tire problems, thankfully, on Sunday. Johnson can take another step towards a three-peat with his second straight win this weekend. He's no doubt the favorite, but who else has a chance? Well, you know, I think the guy that was in his rearview mirror last week at Martinsville, Dale Earnhardt Jr., I think has the best chance. Jr. loves Atlanta. He has won there before. He finished uh, very well back in the spring. And Hendrick Motorsports, you know, Jimmy Johnson obviously uh, does very well there. So I think Jr. will be there. But I also think Kyle Busch might rise back up as well because he was very good back in the spring. Uh, but, again, don't count out that 48, Lauren. Every week from here on in, I think you'll see Jimmy Johnson in the picture to go to victory land. Really, Kyle Busch will rise back up. Wow. Well, it's not over till it's over, that's for sure. Pete Pistone, thanks so much for your time. Talk to you next week, Lauren. All right, and thank you for your time. Keep it locked right here, cbssports.com, for all your NASCAR info. I'm Lauren Shahadi. See you guys next time.